Hi, Simon at The Whole Thing. I'm really excited to share with you uh, my insights in building a high-performance sales team. High-performance sales team allows you to create something that's commercially successful that works without you being there. This is a very special place because it allows you as a sales manager to think strategically, to be more proactive rather than reactive. So it's a wonderful destination to be. So how do we develop a high-performance sales team? Here are my top five tips. Number one, focus on performance results. Take your team and focus them on the collective performance result. Each individual team member has a, has a duty in the role, but collectively the, they will help you reach their sales target. Think about it. If you look in football, you have a goalkeeper. His duty is to protect his goal, not to let any goals or not to let the football pass them. But he needs the other team members to collectively win the game, which is for somebody else to score against the other team. So focusing on performance results and the collective result is very important in high performance teams. Next up is build a foundation of trust. So you must get to know your team really, really well. If your team doesn't trust you, it's very difficult to create high performance. Trust is the foundation of any high performing team. If there's high levels of trust, things go fit quite, uh, quickly. If there's low levels, things are destructive. High levels of trust are safe, they're loving, they're care. People can speak their mind. That goes on to tip number three. Create an environment where people can speak openly. They can say exactly what they want without fear of, 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 of any conflict. It's very important. If people are of fear of conflict, they close up, they don't share their best ideas, and they don't talk honestly and frankly. So tip number three is to create an environment which is open and conducive of, uh, of, of, of good, non-conflicting dialogue. Yes, it's very good. Step number four, listen and involve your members in your decision making. Ultimately, you're paid as the boss to set direction, but if you involve people it helps commitment significantly. If you involve people, you sometimes get an idea which is better than yours and it may even change your mind. But it's very important to involve the other people. Tip number four. Tip number five, make everybody accountable. Accountable in the team. Not only accountable for their individual effort, but accountable for the collective effort. And what that does, ladies and gentlemen, is once people are accountable for collective effort, then peers do your job for you. They will egg the other person on. They'll question why this wasn't done on behalf of the team. It's a one wonderful place. So these are my five tips for building high performance. Number one, focus on performance results. Number two, build a very solid foundation of trust. Get to know your team really, really well. Number three, create an environment which is open and free of real conflict so that ideas come out and people tell you what they think about certain actions. Number four, involve your people for commitment. Uh, this, is, this is very important. Number five, make them accountable, not only in their own job but for a collective result. I'm hoping you found those tips uh, of interest and of use uh, in terms of building a high performance team. Uh, I very much look forward to the prospect of meeting you at some point in the future. Thank you very much.